Good morning, everyone. This is Ida. I have a project share, you guys. I've been waiting to play with some dies that Abby had picked up. And I hadn't had a chance because I was working on other stuff. But I try that whenever uh, she picks up a die or a company, whatever it happens to be, and whatever she orders from them, well, I try to create something, you guys, just to give you an idea of what, what they look like cut out and, you know, and what I did with it and hopefully inspire you. You know, sometimes we, we're stumped, you know, we just don't know what to do with a certain die or a certain stamp. And um, that's why I like to create something with it, even if it's a little something. Right now I'm working on fall, as you guys know, most of us are working on fall. And I wanted to share a... a die set that Abby picked up and all of this came from one die set you guys and there is a couple of pieces that I didn't create nothing with which was another little coffee cup but it's very tiny and I think the other one looks like it's coffee beans but this is the die set you guys that I used to create all of this the only ones I didn't use were these, which I think are coffee beans, and this little teeny tiny uh, coffee cup to go coffee cup. Everything else is out of this um, this die. Even this little piece right here, uh, that's the little stopper, you guys, that goes on the top, top of the lids so it won't spill. This, so that's what that is. And then, of course, here's that little ring I used right here in the center. Here's the dome lid that goes to the frappe cup that's over here. And if you notice this little uh, oval one, I used it in uh, both the frappe cups and the... I made these into teacups, guys, to go teacups. Because it does have the little bitty tea bag uh, tag on there. So I made them into... Um, like to go tea cup, tea cups. So I made these, and then here's the cupcake, guys. The cupcake does come with all these pieces. Now the whip topping that's on here, I used on the cupcake, and I used it on the to go cup, guys. So just kind of keep that in mind that you can use it on several of your items in here, not just for the topping for the cupcake, but also the topping in your frappe cup. And um, let me see. What else did I do? And of course, you guys remember those little maple leaf confettis that I bought. And I have been back to AC Moore a couple times looking for them just to get them so Abby can put them in her shop. And that way you guys who don't have an AC Moore have access to them. But I've been back twice, you guys, and I haven't been able to find them so you guys can have them. Um, sorry, I tried. Seriously, I did. And... Um, I really like this die, guys, because out of this one die, and it even has the straw right here, you guys, and, and I used that paper that I hauled, uh, I think it was from Michael's, and it's like a plaid, a fall plaid color, so that's what I used, and this is just like a cream colored cardstock, and I used my Tim Holtz Distress uh, ink pad, and used the, I think this is the vintage photo, but you could use the walnut, anything that's brown. And kind of just, you know, dabbed on the cup. And then I sprayed it with water, you guys, and dried it just to activate the uh, the ink. And make it look like, uh, you know, it's like some type of um, coffee or, I mean, tea. Well, it's coffee. Some kind of coffee, cold coffee mix. So that's what I did with, with these. I didn't do anything fancy. And then... I did use the die to cut this out in a vellum, a piece that Abby had laminated a tan that didn't work well. She actually took it off and parts of the gold that was on the paper came off and stayed on the um, on the laminating sheet. And then um, it made it look frosty, you guys. So I decided to use it on the cup. So I cut one in paper, the, the bottom half in paper, and then one in that acetate. Um, that laminating sheet and then I did the same on the top I cut um, the the whip topping in white and then I cut the top piece with the laminating sheet that uh, she thought was ruined she had thrown it in the trash you guys and I kind of walked by my my trash can that's by my table and saw it in there and well you know how we are I thought that kind of looks cool I kind of like that effect so I took it out of the trash 
and um and it's not trash like my kitchen trash this is the little one i keep in my craft room so there's nothing but paper in there and stuff those scraps so uh, i was able to dig it out and use it and i think it looks really really cute and it gives instead of using glossy accents you guys this gives the effect that you know it is a plastic cup and two um when I ran it through with the dye, it didn't cut it all the way through in some areas, but it was easy enough to just take my scissors, you guys, and cut, uh, finish cutting off, you know, a little bit. I think it was one of the sides that didn't cut off correctly, and I was able to just take my scissors and do it, but I did cut it with that. And then these little cups right here, I used um, the, the to-go cup. And then I embossed it. If you can see, that one's embossed with a fall uh, folder that I have. I'm sorry for the shadows in here, you guys. But it is embossed with a fall folder that I have. And then again, there's that plaid that I picked up at Hobby Lobby with, again, the confetti here. and uh, Or the sequence, whatever you want to call it. The little tea bag uh, tag right there. And here's the little plug for the cup. And I actually adhered a little maple leaf on there as well. So I think those came out super cute. And all I used was scraps, you guys, because my scraps are building up, especially in black and white. So I was able to just dig out, you know, a piece of scrap. And because a lot of these pieces are so tiny. So if you want to get rid of some of your scraps, this is a, way, a great way to do it because most of these dies are real small, you guys. So that's what I recommend that you use your scraps. And then here's the cupcake. And it has the solid piece, which is this one right here, you guys. And then it has the, the one that looks like a cupcake liner. And it actually cuts out uh, the the little stripes in it, guys. So you, uh, you can see the black through the uh, plaid colored piece. And then, of course, the wood topping and then my little maple leaves. Like if I put some kind of cupcake sprinkles on there. So that's what I created, you guys. And there is, and she does have, and I'm gonna make sure that she links in it, links them in her shop, you guys. She does have one, two, three, and this one. I I only took this out of the package to to show you because mine's already all broken apart. But there are four of these available, and uh, I'll make sure to put the link to these items in the description box. And then there's another one I want to share with you that I haven't done anything with. But the reason I asked her to order these was because um, I'm going to start working pretty soon uh, back to Christmas with the Santa Baby paper. And this reminds me of the cup that's in the Santa Baby paper because it has a snowflake. Here's the whip topping. Now this whip topping, um, no, it's a little bit small. I was thinking you might be able to coordinate it with these other dies, but it's too small. So you get the cup, you get the little snowflake, like the cup that's in the Santa Baby paper. You get the whip topping. And I believe these are like uh, maybe coffee beans or something, you guys. And then here's the little steam to the cup. And she does have several of these, six or seven, I'm not sure. But again, I'll put the description uh, the link in the description box. So that's all I created today, you guys. I just wanted to give you something today. And I want to thank the ladies who purchased Abby's TNs. I really appreciate it, guys, your support. That, um, that you support her. And, and for me, again, like I always say, when somebody blesses my children, it's like they bless me. So I want to thank you for that. Thanks for watching, you guys. Everyone have a great day. And God bless. Bye.